It's lunchtime for the giant otters. But there seems to be something wrong with Akana's daughter, Runa. It's really important that we know these animals so that we can pick up on when the behaviours change and the biggest behavioural change with an otter is a loss of appetite. When I go to feed Runa at the minute, she's lifting her head up. Ah, she's there, it's feed time, but not today. And that's a massive concern. We're talking about an animal that can eat 20 fish an hour. You know, they can eat 10% of their body weight a day. So I knew that we had to get the vets down. A plan is hatched to transport Runa to the on-site vets to examine her. To minimise her distress, it's decided that she will be anaesthetised before she is moved. How are you doing, big man? Hey, how are you doing? You all full? I know, I know. Akana! We had to separate off Diego and Akana. Go on. And they weren't very happy about that. <laughs> They know something's up. And it's hard to see an animal upset. You know, you don't want to see an animal stressed. It's why we do what we do, because we're trying to protect them. We care for them and we love them. We do everything we can for them. It's difficult, but it's essential that we do what we do, because we're talking life or death. All is not well at the giant otter habitat. Ikana's daughter, Runa, is still at the vets. Keeper Kieran has remained with Diego and Ikana to monitor them, as Ikana seems to have become very distressed by Runa's absence. They want to know where she is and is she safe? Particularly Ikana as a mum, she's wondering, where's my daughter? She just wants to look after her and be a mum. Due to the fact that Diego and Ikana have yet to bond as a breeding couple, Ikana is very much on her own. Upon arrival at the vets, Runa's blood is taken for testing and she is given an external examination. We know that she's a sick animal. Tarun has been coping with her liver problems for a little while, showing no signs of any real ill health. But something serious and, and sudden has obviously happened um, in the last couple of days to make her deteriorate. She's not as thin as I expected her to be. Rune has developed quite a big enlarged abdomen very quickly, so we're really quite worried that actually her abdomen might be full of fluid. Ian decides to use ultrasound to take a closer look at Runa's liver. OK, so anything black on here is fluid. See, anything that's whiter on there is, is more dense material. You can see that there are organs floating in fluids. We can probably drain some of the fluid today, but inevitably we will be back in the same position. I think we're just draining it and then medication again, just keep it close yeah. like that. It's a gamble, isn't it? Because we could drain this, bring her around, and then she's still not eating. Yeah, yeah, that's right. As the team debate whether or not they should continue to treat Runa or put her to sleep, the blood results come through. I've just got some information that, that she's uh, her PCV, which is a measure of her red blood cells in the blood, um, is just 19%. That's serious. It should be 35, 40, maybe even more. One of the zoo's senior vets has joined the effort to work out what's best for her. And lots of food in there. Should we take a sample of the food? By taking a sample of the fluid in Runa's abdomen, 
the vets will be able to see if her low red blood cell count has been caused by internal bleeding. I suspect her liver is completely shot and that she's had a catastrophe. Yeah. She's having a I think that makes a decision, yeah. yeah. Is it hey, Gabby? Is that? I think it's time. When Aruna went away, it was expected she was going to come back. Every animal death hits the team hard. You know, we build up such a relationship with them. We're not meant to have favourites, but we do. And for some people on the team, Runa was a favourite. And it's difficult, but it's the best decision. She's not suffering anymore. And we can't focus about us. We can't focus about how we're feeling. It's how do we deal with Diego and Akana? with a loss of an animal. It can bring them closer together. It can also go the opposite direction to a point where it destroys group dynamics and that could be the end of that group. Now it's more of a case of me spending a lot more time with them, just so I can see how they're getting on. Diego, he's meant to play the father role of the family. So now we're hoping that he just grows up. So what we want to see is the bond between Diego and Akana farm. You be nice to Akana though, all right? You'll promise me. Good boy. <laughs>